We live in an era of migra migration and refugee movements that is unprecedented since the end of the Second World War. And we are in a world also where divisions are growing, isolationism, where national interests are no longer uh, aligned with the interests of humanity. And it got to change. And you realize the, the urgency of that change when you do, as I did recently, visit the islands off the, the Greek coast in Lesbos and Kos, and you meet asylum seekers uh, who are, have fled because of uh, persecution, because of abject poverty, everyone in search of opportunities. Um, education being that engine, the vehicle that can give them a new life. You see it with the refugees in, in Uganda coming from South Sudan, uh, or the refugees in, in Bangladesh in Cox's Bazar. These are people who are fleeing conditions and circumstances that many of us cannot even imagine. And they do it for the sake of their children. They do it to give them a better life through education that will give them the skills, the employment opportunities, the economic self-reliance, the healing of their emotional traumas, and, and to be able, through quality education, from pre-primary to the 12th grade at least, to develop their potentials and be productive citizens. The GEM report has the evidence. It shows that if we provide quality education and bring them into public schools that embraces and inclusive of girls, of those who are disabled and usually left the furthest behind, if we give everyone a chance to have that education and develop all their skills and potentials, we can achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. We can contribute to peace and security, human rights and a better world. The opportunity is the Global Compact for the migrants and refugees. So the evidence is there. The vehicle to make it happen through the Global Compact is there. Now is the time for action. There are no excuses. All there is is empathy and evidence and just an understanding and a will to make it happen.